back to Key the Confetti. We are so excited that you're here. It's been a minute and we are ready to do more projects and crafts with you. It is already almost Halloween and we're excited to share with Gentry's third grade class. Hi, Miss Daniels. Hi. A fun activity that we're going to do today for their harvest party. So the items that you're going to need for today's science slash art experiment is the following cardstock and I actually pre-printed a pumpkin out of it if you want to just freehand a pumpkin if you're doing it at home or you can just leave it paper and draw a pumpkin on there and not cut it out we're gonna cut ours out you're also gonna need water food coloring specifically for orange baking soda citric acid if you don't want to use citric acid you can also use vinegar and of course small cups paint brushes and paper towels for cleanup all right, while Gentry gets started by cutting out the pumpkin, I am going to put water in the base, just enough to make it like a paint. And stir it up, stir it up good. Miss Daniel's class, you'll have two paint brushes. Try not to mix them between the two uh, cups that will be nicely labeled acid and base. And you're gonna mix it up to make a paint. In the citric acid, I added food coloring, so it'll be orange. Lovely pumpkin -y orange. Yep. And I'll be mixing that up as well. To make a paint. So while Gentry's uh, still cutting up that pumpkin, I'll tell you a little bit about what's the difference between an acid and a base. First of all, I'm gonna put up the scale for you somewhere right around here so that you can see it. But water is right in between. And not tap water, but like pure water is a seven on the acid and base scale, which means it's neutral. Um, so it's, that's why water is so good for you. It neutralizes your body because your body is full of acids and bases. And um, if they get to, if your body gets too acidic, it's not good. And if it gets too basic, it's not good either or alkaline. On the acid side of the scale, you have things like citric acid that we're using or vinegar, but there's also your stomach acid, which helps break down food. So you need to have enough acid to break down food, but not too much acid or your blood is too acidotic and things can happen. So we're really looking for that balance. So a base, like baking soda, has a lot of alkalinity in it. It's um, an antacid or a base mixed with an acid, there's a chemical reaction that happens. Can you guess what chemical reaction will happen when we paint our pumpkins orange? I bet you could guess by just reading the title of this video. You can like lay down a paper towel. And now the first thing we're going to do is lay our pumpkin down and we're going to paint it with the base. Give it another good mixin', swirly mix. I totally forgot. Don't forget to put your name on the back of your pumpkin. If you're in class, I can't remember. Right. But if you're at home, you're good. Okay. Yeah. And paint the whole pumpkin with your base. Now the base is clear, so you just gotta tell that you're, where you're painting. So give it a good wash all over very quickly. It's kind of a bluish color. Don't keep going back over the same spot. Go all the way, broad strokes, all the way. Now, the only place that the chemical reaction is gonna happen is where you've laid your base down, where you've painted your base on. Yeah, it's kind of leaving behind a powder and it's drying pretty quickly. Once you're done with your base and painting your pumpkin, you're gonna set it aside because you don't wanna use the same uh, paintbrush. So you're gonna set it aside. And here we have your acid and it's bright orange and we're gonna paint with it and we're gonna see what happens when you mix an acid I think I'm with gonna, a base. Baking soda think, and citric acid. I think I'm gonna go for the bottom. I might need more acid. Go right here where there's a bunch of 
Oh, oh yeah. here we go. Oh, it's busy. I think we I think we may need a little bit more acid though. Like I said, if you don't have citric acid, you can always use vinegar. It's just gonna have an odor to it. Oh, fun. Okay, there we go. Busy pumpkins. Let's see if you can see. And it leaves like a stain at the end so you can paint the whole thing. That was just a drop. Gentry's painted her pumpkin and we're going to let it dry and then we will come back and put the finishing touches on it. If you can hear it, it's still sizzling. That fizzy pumpkin. We'll be back. Hi guys, we're back to finish up our pumpkin. pumpkin. It is dried. It kind of dries a little. Crystal you can still see the crystal -y of the Stop. baking soda. We're gonna finish by making your little pumpkin into a little jack-o-lantern. So get your black crayon or marker or pencil or whatever Miss Daniels wants you to use if you're in Gentry's class. And then I've provided some googly eyes that are adhesive on the back. Gentry, you can stick your googly eyes on. And we'll finish up our pumpkins. Google eyes. I love a good Google eye. And I'm gonna make sure it's clean. Yeah. Crayon would probably work best because of the baking uh, pot soda will get on your marker and probably dry out your marker. So just use crayon or colored pencil. And that's it for our fizzy pumpkin. We hope you enjoyed this little science craft and that you enjoy yourself this Halloween and stay safe. Thank you so much, Miss Daniel's class. And don't forget to celebrate today.